we go. Check, check, check. <sighs> we have good audio. Here we go. trying to do okay let's make sure the audio stays okay I mean it sounds right so far very excited Alright, see if it's already loaded. It is not. Okay, here we go. That's the one. I'm so excited about playing Vanguard again. It's more difficult, but it's more fun. <laughs> I'll leave the squad power usage on for now. Persephone. I'm going to change it from Adept because I want to be a vanguard. Ashley's dead. The council's alive. Okay. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. Yeah, and are. it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the galactic community struggles to rebuild. Oh, it's way too fast. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Council and earn humanity membership in their prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers... Too fast. And that was a fast read. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. <laughs> cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Oh, 
fly that plane. Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barriers down. Multiple hull breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. about to build doesn't really have pieces of the old Normandy so no ship of Theseus nonsense there I feel like there is a ship of Theseus situation going on with Shepard like how much is you
Genesis summarizes the events of me one. Would you like to review? Do I want to do that? I do not want to do that. You guys need that? No. They seem to act like because it's because your brain is still organic. Commander Shepard has been recovered. That's their like main argument. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. No, your brain is suffocated and desiccated. No, they're not. Played it a bunch of times. I'm very excited to do Vanguard again. Vanguard is very fun. But difficult. More difficult. Let me figure out. I think I wrote down I wanted to change my hair. I always wish I could just change a couple things. try to build this face with blue eyes. I think it's time through ME2. Last ME2 playthrough that I did was a Renegade playthrough though.
sometimes if you pick the same hair color for the eyebrow color, it looks really weird. It does weird stuff. Because their brows. That looks okay. Continuum of skin colors operates. Oh, this makes you look older. It's different. Slightly older? I don't know. Too much makeup. I could just pick pink and tell some of these look brown, some of them look orange, but there's so many options. Why? that one. That one or that one? If 
Imogen, can you give me your opinion? This one? For the eye? Or this one? Less eye. Less dark eye. Darker eye. Less dark eye. <laughs> know which one I'm leaning towards. Yeah, I think less... What, what does that have to do? That's true. My adept Persephone, I think, had no eye makeup. I like this. Okay. Love those eyebrows, though. That's too much eyebrow. Ugh, all their eyebrows are too small. All right, let's try this. Never done these eyebrows before. Okay. Oh no, more choices. Right. Cendiary ammo would be fun. But that's not an option. So maybe I already have that? shotgun. I always think it would be fun to set, set people on fire when I charge at them. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my last Vanguard character had trouble with shields, so that could be good. That's always good, though. Inferno grenade do? Besides set everything on fire, obviously. <laughs> that does sound good. I wish I could remember what vanguard moves you already have. You know what? I've never tried this, so... to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. So fucked up. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Yeah, those Krogan are rough. So, it makes sense. Wake up, Commander. 
It's probably why I wanted the incendiary ammo, but it wasn't an option. Maybe. Shepard, do you hear Maybe me? Get down to that now. This facility is under attack. About to find out. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry! Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those can't keep your head down, Shepard. Oh, Shield man. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. Been a minute since I've used non snipers. Shepard, security makes a closing in on your. Oh man, also, this is the game where you don't have. Storm forever. Authorized for a lethal force. Oops. <laughs> Very cavalier. Oh, I do have incendiary. Yes. Amazing. Backup system requesting assistance. Backup system requesting assistance. Allied force casualty. Yeah. 
Okay, more clips. Let's pick those up. No. I think there's something in this room, though. Maybe not. I thought there was. Never mind. setting things on fire. It is great. Not in real life. But. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. <laughs> I just wish he'd kick a little more in my yeah. direction. Nobody while. knows where the elusive man gets all his cash. I just know he's got a lot of it. That's all. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become a new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. Charge him up! progress are you with Miranda yeah sorry I forgot this is all new to you right now I'm Jacob Taylor I've been stationed here for hostiles detected damn it things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around I'll fill you in but we better get you to the shuttle first I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Firing. Biotics are probably the least. I mean, in this unit. Ah! Falling back! Ah! Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? I want to know uh, how they had a suit of armor just like perfectly fitted to be ready to go when they didn't expect this to happen. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. 
I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Even though I think his character is written badly, his voice actor is solid. But I love Jennifer Hale so much. The Shepard voice actor. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it, what they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. I think I made my eyes too What's blue. the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? I can make it look more normal. With Wilson, armor. this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Really Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on, the service tunnels are this way. Oh, Jacob. Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years. But we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. We've been spotted. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Authorized for a lethal force. I've got them. Hostile forces have engaged. <clears throat> oh, whoopsies. Hide behind the radioactive. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Captain Wilson. Find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't. Oh, God. They found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh, God. the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Wilson's hurt bad. He needs help. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Yeah, sometimes they're right, Jacob is like really loyal, and then like he's mad that other people aren't loyal, and lo like loyalty is like his main thing, and then they just do weird stuff between the rest. They don't hold to that. Especially if you have a romance with him. Oh god, it's rough. It irks me that they did that to this character. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Can overload the canisters to clear yeah, the also, the shuttles. this station is not that big. Really, silly to be like, That's it. we must Let's get out of here. Her. Oh wow, that took them all out. Okay, we took them down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. <laughs> it was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. <laughs> that would be amazing if that was his real name. Like, if he changed it. Mr. Man. I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Alright, 
smacking up the paragon. <laughs> Mr. Man. Sensors activated. Shields are down. Drop them. was on board at one point, that's nice. Oh, it's spikies. Through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you were dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> if you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? 
So some kind of conscience is written into him, but not always. <laughs> You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I love how they give her, like, lip this, like, sneer. Ivan Strahovski is perfect at this. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. You don't want to... He should be concerned about the other survivors, and he's not. Based on his conscience. Where are we going? I don't know. Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Yes. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. There was a tiny bit of trouble. <laughs> Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid. Raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Turns out he won't really care. The elusive man is waiting oh, for you yes. in the other room. I can change my outfit. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. I know. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, I've never used this outfit. Shiny mat. Extra mat. I think we want really shiny. To go with 
we charge and stun! That's gold. That's very Iron Man. Oh, I love the beetle. The beetle is pretty great as well. Wait, where's the blue? No blue! Bullshit. Pink sheen? Is there blue here? There's only one blue option? What? Should have made my eyes this color blue, since there's not a darker color blue armor for me. I don't know if I like the pinky, sheeny color. I always do a mission with it and see how it goes. Ugh. There was a blue option. How did I miss this blue option? Man. Alright, there we go. I don't know how I missed the blue. There we go. That's what I wanted. Blue and white. Kinda looks more purpley than blue. Kinda looks navy. Might be the best option. Light blue is bugging me. Maybe I want... I think there was a darker blue. Yeah, there we go. Gray. I'm 
still undecided. Alright, I think that might be it. Sorry, that took forever. Yeah, alright. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Oopsies. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. All right, let's investigate. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Why would they mix up the options? Now I have to remember what I asked. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. So we're supposed to believe that, um, in the story at least, Sovereign, you kill him. But the other ones don't attack yet. They have the collectors hit human colonies because you're a human. They harvest so much of humans to start building a new human reaper. Almost like trying to get people to realize that they're a threat. Or they come to harvest everybody? Unclear. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment, 
You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If what you say is true, that the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them, for now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. She's very smart. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Yeah, I think you mentioned that Miranda was one of your favorites. She is amazing. I kind of love that they have her be really mean to you, too. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. I wish I could wear dark blue armor. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Got anything to say? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander.
I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? They write her really well. And Yvonne does a fantastic job. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official <laughs> Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. It's so weird the way they write Jacob. Like, he was part of the Alliance, he quit. So, like, but loyalty is like his biggest, like, thing that they associate with him. Uh, Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Right? Such a weird thing that they wrote him as a cheater. It's so weird. That's all for now. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I really didn't like that about him. I thought that his voice actor was good. Like, I didn't need to do him like that. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Could have. Uh. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. And it irks me, and I will keep talking about it. We should yeah, be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your could command. Have been great. Do you have any orders? <sighs> what did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses. Not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town.
three. Overload works on barriers and shields, but in two it'll only work on shields. Rearming. Get that squad incendiary ammo as fast as possible. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage. <gasps> hey, my no puppy. signs of battle. Hello. Hello, my puppies. <gasps> You're just a dog. You just want to be part of things. So cavalier, I can do better. I'm not disappointed, I'm gonna be fine. Hear that? Sounds like bed respects. Strain? Systems were disabled at the end the call. Mm, that didn't do very much. I've got him.
were made. Come on, guys. I'm what are you doing, Miranda? On it. Where's my papa? Right behind you. Miranda, what are you doing? Ah! Well, how did that not work? Rerouting requesting power. assistance. Requesting assistance. Affirmative. Okay. Yes! Alright. Dogs. Not good. to fight the dog mechs. I don't know wh who's worse, the dog mechs. I think the Baron also bad. Cross all of Spotted. Oh, dog mech, I think. Hello, buddy. Chance. Those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down! This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old tally! commander working for Shepard? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. Tally, they we gave came you to find a him. tally interaction so early in the game, it's so great! Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Smart. 
Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the tally. colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Uh, it sounds like something people would find uh, intensely personal. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. I bet Miranda would say killing the Admiral Kohoku wasn't, wasn't personal. Oh, Miranda. At least she's very concerned. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Online. Oh, hello. Here we go. Yeah, some good charge action. Use overload armor. Dead. Rut row. <coughs> oh, I have no more clips. You killed them. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. I mean, you should. The service operative that knows exactly what grudges they might hold against you. Miranda. Perhaps. Hey, you don't even really need to fight those drones. I always kill all of them, but it seems like you just run into the building. I forgot how bad they are. Big enough cover.
They did want to get to yeah, Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Okay. Look around. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. But you ate max breakfast. Oh, 
guess I can go to that other building. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded chef. He's probably somewhere in hey, the back of the loading bay. Monsters coming back. Mechs will Not here. Swarms can't find. Who didn't find us? <laughs> We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired murderers. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain... The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. You. Swarms didn't find me. Known for being careless. 
Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Weirdly placed faith. Jacob. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Yeah, why would you trust the elusive man all of a sudden? You just said you don't trust him, and he, the elusive man knows you don't know what is happening, Jacob. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, We'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. Good choice. That should tell you how important it is. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. I don't know why you would ever choose to alienate yourself from Tally by kidnapping one of her people. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. You're leading me around with breadcrumbs. That's what you're doing. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. 
They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. <laughs> you and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. It's one of those things that sounds silly. The pattern's there! Can't you see it? If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tissani? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Not Where's you. Erdnot Rex? I thought... He returned to Chichanka. And he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. Keep What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. grounded. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. Thing to do. But they do. aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Ah, yes. The true romance of the game. You and the Normandy. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name.
All right. <sighs> there we go. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I love it. She's so mean. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice. Everyone's alive again. Last time I played this game, the crew died. On purpose. I did it on purpose, but not this time. Yes, yes. Come on. Ta da! Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, rendezvous with Kasumi, not meat. Rendezvous. Paragon. Yes. Okay. That's it for me for tonight. Shepherd out.